Hey, what's up? This is M. I'm here at Rush Order Tees, and this is part two of the t-shirt test. But before we get to our new tests, let's take a look at the results from the last video. Here are your results from part one of the t-shirt test. We had the field test, the wear test, the stretch test, the wet test, and the wrinkle test. Triblend is in the lead with 17 points, followed closely by polyester with 15 points with cotton and 50-50 tied with 9 points each. Alright, I'm here with Dan, who I recently learned is not an intern. That's true. What's up, everyone? Now, we're not t-shirt experts, but if we keep making these videos... We still won't be. In this video, we're going to continue our series of tests on these four t-shirts, which represent the four main fabric types. We have 100% cotton, 100% polyester, 50-50, and the tri-blend. And our first test might be one of the most important. It's what we do best here at Rush Order Tees, all day, every day. It's the screen print test. So we're going to test how well a traditional screen print looks on these four shirts. Fabric type can have a big impact on how well the print looks. And remember, it's the fabric types that we're testing here. All right, so we got the screen printing test done, and we have the shirts in front of us, and we're gonna take a look at the results. And the three things we're looking at are the color accuracy is number one, uh, also the smoothness of the print, um, the way uh, it sits on the shirt, and just the overall quality of the print. So what do you think, Dan? So yeah, the color accuracy is definitely the worst on the polyester here, by far. Right. And the reason for that tends to be something called dye migration. And what happens is the dye from the shirt actually creeps into the underbase white, making it a little pink, and that will change the colors on top pretty significantly, as you can tell. Yeah, I mean, that yellow is not even close to the same. So for smoothness, uh, I would say the polyester is actually probably the smoothest and then the tri-blend is probably the least smooth. It's a really bumpy looking print there. Right. And that's called fibrillation. It's a long word for the little fuzzy fibers that stick up from the shirt. And the plastisol ink doesn't quite lay them down. Uh, so they, they poke out a little bit and it ends up giving the print a little bit of a rough patchy look. When you're taking into account color accuracy and smoothness, I think you're going to have to say cotton, number one. I would agree with that. 50-52. Yep. Tri-blend three and polyester last because that is just not great in terms of color. Yeah, the color accuracy is way off and the print actually sits pretty heavy on the shirt. All right, the results are in for the screen printing test. Cotton coming in first, 50-50 second, tri-blend third, and polyester with the big loss. All right, our next test is also a print test, but this time it's the digital print test. Now, digital printing is also called DTG, or direct to garment. Because you print directly onto the garment. And this technology has come a long way in recent years. It's only been around for about two decades. Still older than you. That's not true. So we're going to use these exact same shirts. We're just going to print on the other side. All right, let's go out to the DTG department and print some shirts. All right, so we just did our DTG print and we're back here with the shirts and we're looking at the results. First look for me, it seems pretty similar to last round, I gotta say. Bad color accuracy on polyester's part. Right. And then you're looking at a really bumpy print over there on the tri-blend. Yep, that's true. Whereas, you know, the, the cotton kind of takes the best of both worlds. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. Cotton's looking good. Results are in for the DTG test. 
Cotton coming in first place again, 50-50 second again, Triblend third again, and Polly last again. All right, now that we've got the most important test out of the way, it's time to have some fun. Mud wrestling? No, but we are going to make a mess. It's the mess test. <laughs> For this test, we're going to grab some food and drinks and condiments from the fridge and put them all over these shirts. And we're going to see which ones absorb the mess and which ones repel it. Oh, that does sound pretty fun. I mean, we could still roll around in the mud if you want. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. And that was a mess. Yeah, that was pretty fun though. Yeah, hopefully uh, not too many coworkers hate us now. All right, so let's take a look at the results. We wiped them off and let them dry out overnight. Uh, what do you think? Cotton looks like it really absorbed it. I would say cotton's the clear loser. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The winner is between polyester and tri-blend. I think I see stains on the tri-blend, whereas the poly, it seems like if I just wiped it a little bit more, it would, the rest would come off. Was this test really necessary? I don't know, but we wanted to do 10. Results are in for the mess test. It's polyester with a big win. Triblend coming in second, 50-50 third, and Cotton with a messy defeat. All right, now that we've made a mess on these tees, it's time to... Do it again. Clean them up. It's the wash test. All right, so this is actually an important test because we're going to see how these shirts hold up after a vigorous washing and drying. And we'll see if the mess comes out. And we'll also be taking a close look at how the prints hold up to a vigorous wash and dry cycle. You ready? All right, let's do some washing. All right, we really washed these shirts. We washed the shit out of them. We did, two Tide Pods, and we dried the shit out of them. So let's, uh, let's talk about the results. I mean, in terms of cleaning up the mess, they all did equally well, I'd say. So then it comes down to how the shirt holds up in terms of shrinkage and you know just the fibers coming out, and then kind of how the print quality holds up. Cotton shrank a good amount, and Triblend also shrank a pretty decent amount. We have some uh, print quality degradation on the polyester and we have some fabric degradation on the 50-50. So with that being said, we decided that polyester was probably the best in terms of the fabric itself because yeah, the, fabric, the fabric didn't shrink, it washed out completely. And then number two would have to be the tri-blend. Did shrink just a little bit but everything else looks fine, nice and soft, fabric held up. And then number three, we'd say cotton. But 50-50, that looks like it took a beating. It might uh, be hard to see, but you can just see the little fibers all over the shirt yeah. kind of poking out that weren't before. Results are in for the wash test. We're guessing polyester one, tri-blend second, cotton third, and 50-50 fourth, because why not? All right. We've come to the final test in this series. And for this test, we're wearing our safety goggles because it's the most dangerous test. Oh, I thought we were going scuba diving. For this test, we're gonna put these fabrics to the real test, which is subjecting these shirts to a, some serious damage. It's the damage test. Are we gonna blow them up? Uh, that might be too dangerous. Oh, uh, yeah, and illegal. Yeah. So we're going to take these out to the parking lot and run over them with a car. Oh, I guess that's cool. Let's roll. Mm. 
Well, that was fun. Uh, it really wasn't that dangerous, though. Well, there's a weed whacker out back. Yes. <laughs> All right. These wow. shirts are a lot tougher than I thought. Yeah, seriously. So, is that it? Oh, I know. Let me ask you something. All right, we're here at Barry the Hatchet, a local place that lets you throw weapons across the room. And drink while you do it. You ready to throw some axes at these shirts? Let's do it. Well, that was a lot of fun. That was a blast. How is this our job? All right, well, let's talk about the damage, uh, the results here. It's really hard to tell on this one. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, no, no shirt will hold up well against axes. Yeah, basically that's, that's what we learned here is that a flying axe will penetrate most fabrics. True. So I guess that's it. Well, we haven't done anything with fire yet. Okay, we're back, and the damage test was a success. We damaged the shit out of these shirts. We did. We tore these things up. It was all in the name of science. <laughs> For science. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, but uh, do we have a winner? Fire was really interesting. I mean, 50-50 in Tribeland just kind of lit up easily, no problem. Poly just like melted. Just which melts. was crazy Weird. and well, like welders and stuff they don't work with poly because there's a chance that it can actually start melting to your skin which is obviously painful no one wants that i think when we're taking everything into account you have to say tri blend number one just because it seemed the most resilient to anything we did to it cotton probably number two followed by polyester and then the 50 50 last because everything just seemed to kind of 50-50s are rough. The 50-50 was like on fire. Yeah. Really Big quickly. time. When we hit it with the axes, it just split right apart. Even got tore up by the gravel. Yeah. Even the washer caused problems. <laughs> even the washer, even yeah. That wasn't part of this test. That's Results are in for the damage test. A very tough competition, but Tri-Blend taking first place. Cotton in second. Polyester third. And 50-50 got tore up the most. We have determined that Tri-Blend is the ultimate t-shirt fabric in the world, with 31 points. Coming in at a surprise second place is Polyester with 27 points, Cotton in third place with 23 points, and 50-50 coming in fourth place with only 19 points. All right, well, we've come to the end. That was the t-shirt test. That was a lot of fun. We should do that every year. Well, I don't know about that, but give us some feedback in the comments. Let us know if there's any test that you think would be good or any ideas you have, especially for the damage test. Maybe we'll do them next time. Explosives? Maybe rolling around in the mud. Why not both? <laughs>